Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download all of them, from the link given in the description. Now let's start with creating our first composition. Here I will name it as slide 1. For this composition, we need to set the time duration to 2 seconds. Remaining everything will be the same. For this slide composition, first, we will add our text. Here I will add text as cinematic, you can add any text of your choice. For this text layer, I am using Montserrat font family, increase the font size. Set font style to bold italic. Let's align the text to the center. Perfect. Now we will pre-compose this text layer. Name it as text1. Perfect. For this text composition, from layer styles, select gradient overlay. In gradient overlay, we will edit the gradient color. In gradient editor, you need to set the gradient color and stopper exactly as I am going to show. To adjust the gradient color, you can create, move the stopper position or delete it, if needed. Perfect. Now we will create three duplicates of the text one composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicates. Change them to 3D. For all the text compositions, press P to bring up the position. For each text composition, we will set Z position value. For first composition, set it to 20. For second, set it to 40. For third, set it to 60. For fourth, set it to 80. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add reflection map image to time align. Scale this reflection image. Perfect. For this reflection map. In effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection map layer. For motion tile, set output width and height to 150. Select mirror edge. Here we need to increase the output width value. Let's increase it for full screen, perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now, at end of the timeline, change tile center value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. For reflection map, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the reflection map layer. Here you need to set color for these tint effect, as shown. Perfect. Again add tint effect. Here you need to set map white color, to the color you want, for your text layer. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. 
Add it to the reflection map layer. Set blurriness to 10. Select repeat edge pixels. Perfect, now let's pre-compose the reflection map image. Set name to reflection map. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add the text one composition to the timeline, change both compositions to 3D. For reflection map, change track map to alpha matte text one. For reflection map, in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the reflection map composition. In blowiness, change blob layer to text one. Set softness value to 5. Set cutaway value to 10. Perfect. Now from the project panel, again add the text 1 composition to the timeline. For text 1 composition, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add it to the text 1 composition. For Vegas, change segments to 1. Set blend mode to transparent. Here I will set color to white. Perfect. Now from the project panel, add the lens flare media file to timeline, in effects and preset, search for tint, add it to the lens flare. Here you can set the flare color, I will keep it as it is. Now add the background media file to timeline. Now add the tint effects to the background media file. For lens flare, change mode to, add. Change lens flare and text to 3D. For background layer, here you can set the color for background. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for transform. Add it to the adjustment layer. For transform position, press alt key and click on the stopwatch of position. Here we will enter expression, wiggle 5 and 7. Perfect, this will create wiggle effect for the text layers. Change adjustment layer to 3D. Now let's create a new camera layer. Create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. Final one. Press P to bring up position. At 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline. Increase the position value for z-axis, as shown. Perfect. You can see the lens flare is set to 3D, it moves with the text layer. If you want, you can adjust the flare position. For null layer, press R to bring up rotation, at 20 frames. Create keyframe for Z rotation, at start of the timeline, change Z rotation to 10. Perfect, press U to view keyframes, select all the keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now again create a null object. Change it to 3D. Parent null 1 to null 2. For null 2. Press P to bring up position, now at 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, decrease position value for Z axis as shown.
perfect. Here you can see the difference, we need to increase the scale value for adjustment layer and flare layer. Scale the flare according to the text size. I will set scale value to near about 125%. Now we will create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set vibrance to 20. Set saturation to 20. Perfect. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Let's on the motion blur for the text layers. This will create blur effect for the text layers. Here our slide 1 is created. Now let's see how to create multiple slides. Here we will create total 4 slides. For 4 slides, we need to create 4 text compositions, we already have created 1. Now let's create 3 more duplicates of this text 1 composition. Perfect, now open the text 2 composition. Text 3 composition, and text 4 composition. Here we need to change the text for all the three text compositions. Perfect. Now let's create three duplicates of this slide 1 composition. Now open slide 2 composition. Slide 3 composition and slide 4 composition. For slide 4 composition, we need to replace all this text 1 compositions, select all the text compositions. Now we will replace this text 1 compositions, with this text 4 composition. Now press Alt key and drag text 4 composition over text 1 composition. This will replace all the text 1 composition with text 4 composition. Perfect. Now we will do the same for slide 3 and slide 2 composition. Select all text 1 compositions, replace them with text 3 composition. Perfect. For slide 2, select all text 1 compositions, replace them with text 2 composition. Perfect, here are all 4 text slides are created, now let's see how to bring them in a single composition. Create a new composition. I will name this composition as trailer title. I will set time duration to 10 seconds. If you have created more slides, then you can increase the time duration. For this composition. One by one we will add the slide compositions to the timeline. Now arrange them one after the other. Now if you want to add any footage to this trailer, then you can add them between these two compositions. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. To add frame, double click on this rectangle tool, this will create mask for solid. For mask 1, we will change the path, change unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%. Set bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview.
perfect. Here our trailer title is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial.